My name is Paul Thorpe, this is Mixing Wednesdays, and today this is my kind of 10 plugin alliance plugins that I actually use in every mix. One of my Mixing Wednesday members asked me this week, Paul, can you please do a video just talking about the plugin alliance plugins that you use, because I do know you have a plugin alliance subscription for the Mega Bundle, and you never hardly talk about plugin alliance. So let's get straight into it. These are my plugin alliance plugins that I use in every mix. Right, okay, so the first two plugins that I've got for you is actually SPL. I do like a lot of the SPL stuff. Now, uh, the first one that I use is the SPL Devel. I actually used it on this, okay? Um, I actually started using it uh, a couple of weeks ago. So obviously this is uh, my unacoustically treated bedroom. Now, by the way, I love the people that are like, Oh my God, dude, uh, I can't believe you're actually mixing that. Oh my God, you ever thought of like acoustically treating your room? Like, obviously, obviously I don't fucking mix in this room. Can you see speakers? Yeah, they have fucking headphones. So yes, when I'm recording stuff in this bedroom as it isn't acoustically treated and there's a little bit of reverb in the room, I do like to use SPL Deverb, which I think does a great job. It's really, really simple, really intuitive little plugin. Just one little knob, bang, takes away the reverb, and it's as simple as that. That's what I like. I like to mix quick, all right? And I like tools to give me things straight away, okay? So that's the first one. Then the second SPL plugin is the Transient Designer. I love the SPL Transient Designer. Why? Because, again, it's super, super quick and really intuitive to use. It does what it says on the tin, okay? It's a Transient Designer, okay? You shape your transient the way you want it. You want a little bit more snap. Um, you want a little bit more of an attack in your kick drum if you want. A little bit less sustain if you want more sustain. You could basically shape the transient the way that you want it. It's great for drums. I use it all the time. Especially, again, if you've got, say, certain stems or certain recordings that have came in and you just kind of want to shape them a certain way. It's great for that. Simple as that. All right. Right, so that's two. So number three is the Elysium Presser. I love to use Elysium Presser for my low end. Um, actually, it was Dave Pensado. I watched a, a, an In The Layer uh, with um, Dave Pensado and he was talking all about using it for low end. It is probably one of the best low end compressors I've ever used. I actually love to use it in parallel. Um, I use it in parallel on kick and on bass. It's, it's got a really nice drive and saturation to it. It just sounds awesome. It's got a really nice, it's got really good low end girth. That's the way I like to use it. You can hit it quite hard. There's a, a setting called Beefcake Joe, right? Honestly, Beefcake Joe. Use it like straight on the track. And again, use it in parallel. Just try it out, right? And get back to this because I think it's amazing. All right. So number four, um, another compressor that I love to use is the V76 U73B from Nailed. I use it on my vocals. Now, when I say 1176, right, what I mean by that is I do the 1176 LA 2A thing, right? A really fast fit into like a slower octo. Okay, that's what I like to do on vocals, right? So as my 1176, okay, it's not 1176, but you know what I mean. Um, I like to use the V76 U73B. The reason I like it so much is just because of the saturation and the warmth it adds. Um, it's actually quite a snappy little compressor as well, but it's more of the character it adds. I kind of feel like it brings out the mids, which is great on vocals, and it brings the vocal out a little bit more which I really, really like. There is a video I did when it first came out, obviously a plug-in shootout. So yes, there is a video talking all about the plug-in itself and kind of how I use it. You can check that out. Um, that's normally the only time I use it, but I just love it. I love it for that purpose. And know what? I've actually spoken to a lot of engineers um, that actually use it for the same purpose. So honestly, try it on vocals. It sounds amazing. All right, so number five, okay? Another Nailed plug-in that actually came out um, end of last year is the Nailed Big Al. I love that saturation plugin. There is a saturation plugin shootout, obviously, because I'm Paul Third and I've shootouts for everything. Um, there is a saturation uh, plugin shootout, and it's it's a certain flavour of saturation. Works wonders on vocals. Um, it's very nice on bass, very nice on drums as well. Um, it's got a very, very kind of, again, warmth to it. That's what I love about nailed stuff. They're, they're brilliant at warmth. Um, what I love about the saturation on vocals is it just makes everything sound a little bit better. It adds this nice glue and again it brings the vocal out a little bit more. Okay, it comes out the mix a little bit more. Um, you just have to try it out. It's really easy to use. It's got great options in it as well. Check out that uh, plug and shootout that I did and you'll know what I mean and kind of how I like to use it. All right, so nail, Big Al, brilliant. And yes, I do think of Big Al from South Park right? <laughs> when I use it as well. All right. So next up is an EQ. Now, the Mag EQ is the air band of my choice. I just think whenever I want to add top end, 40k air band, that's all I use it for. Um, I don't even use them, the EQ4. I just need the one band, EQ2. That's all I need, right? For the air band, 40k, dial it in. If you want top end, you're just like, I just need top end, Mag EQ. Honestly, it does 
what I want. Okay, if you just if you just go, I want high end. I want it to sound brighter, but not really that harsh. It's got a little bit of a high end sheen. Mag EQ two. All right, Mwah. beautiful. And next up is a plugin I've actually only been using like for three four weeks. It is the um, the Metric AB plugin. This I should have been using a long time ago. I never used to use references because I kind of, I don't know why, I'm just, I'm very stubborn and I'm like, no, I trust my ear. You should know, know what, it's a bit of advice, guys, right? Learn from my mistakes. You probably should be using a reference and Metric AB is fantastic. You can have kind of like quite a lot, there's like 16 different um, tracks you can import into this. And the great thing is it level matches as well. It's got spectral analyzers in it as well. It's great for mastering, it's great for mixing. You can just kind of go lower. This is kind of like maybe four or five records records that kind of inspired me and I kind of wanted to sound like this. Ha certain bits of your track, you can just go to Metric AB and without that level jump kind of getting in the way, you can hear where your mix needs to go, right, okay, the mids maybe are not right, the lows are not right, and then you can use the spectral analyzer to kind of see maybe the areas that you need to work on. It's a great little plugin, honestly. I can't believe it's included uh, in the Mega Bundle. That's worth, honestly, that's worth the fucking price alone. Great plugin, great plugin. And obviously, right, we knew, we knew I'm not going to miss it out. It's the Better Maker. Obviously, the fucking Better Maker. But every, who doesn't love the Better Maker, right? Yes, it's got no harmonics in it. Yes, other plugins can do what it does. I have managed to get the Waves F6 to do what it does. But those curves, my God, nothing can match the curves in real time. It's how the curves move. It's the intuitiveness of the curves, the algorithm. It is fantastic. If it's fixed on your mix bus, yes, other plugins could do it. But it's got that beautiful way of creating a smiley curve that's very intuitive in the mix, okay? It, to me, that's what it's all about. It's the curves, it's the intuitiveness of it. It's very clean. It's got It, it does more than a pull tech because you've got those extra EQ bands as well. It just sounds awesome. Coded brilliantly. It's one of my most favourite plugins. It's always fixed on my mix bus, always. Honestly, even just honestly, all these plugins are like worth the price alone, eh? But the Better Maker is made by Better Maker themselves. Yes, it's beautiful. Mwah, chef kiss. Now, I know I spoke about the nail Big Al earlier on, but you cannot miss out on the HG2 Black Box. And also the HG2 Black Box, the mid new mid-side one that came out. Honestly, it's one of the best saturation plugins you're ever going to find. It's got that 3D kind of depth, right? Honestly, check the shootout I did versus the hardware. Um, the, see the mid-side? In the mid-side mode, in certain cases, it actually can sound better than the hardware. Um, does it sound better on the hardware? In most cases, the hardware just has a little bit more. It's a little bit more depth to it, and it sounds actually better. Uh, the hardware actually sounds better all built up as well. But it's very close, and the plugin sounds awesome, honestly. Snare, kick, drums, bass. Honestly, you want to add girth to something, you want to add a little bit more 3D kind of punch and hit. That's got it. That there is, to me, analog saturation in the box. Done right. Super. And know what? I've I've actually lost count. I know I said 10 and I can't remember. So I don't know if I've done 10. If I've not done 10, what I'll do is I'll add in one more. SSL 9000J. I, I, I love that. I actually still use that on kick and I use it on parallel. You'll be like, why do you use it on parallel? I use it on parallel on drums. Honestly, check out that video I did on drums. It has a certain sound on drums and stuff. It just has its own sound. I love the SSL 9000J and I just kind of find in like parallel um, or sometimes I use it on um, on drum samples and stuff and ju I just like to add it in and I just like to add it into the mix and I just really like what it does that's a sleeper, honestly in the SSL 9000J, that's a sleeper I don't like any other SSL plugins you'd be like, what? Like, I'm sorry, I don't like any other SSL consoles but I like the 9000J, I just do, I just do okay, we're just gonna, we're going to leave it at that, okay but yes, it's a great plugin subscription bundle if you have not tried it out, yes, I do suggest you try it out so again, thanks to my Mixed and Wednesday members for again giving me video ideas as well this one's for you, Dimitri, alright so hopefully you can sleep at night <laughs> knowing the plugins that I use from Plugin Alliance now, okay you can sleep safe now, alright so, uh, if you've not liked this video, like the video. If you've not subscribed, then why are you not subscribe? Hit that subscribe button, okay? And I'll see you next week on Mixing Wednesdays. Okay.